according to KFC, these Kenyan potatoes are not good for their brand. Welcome to Tunachiki's Africa in the News. I'm Mikey Mushi, and this is the show where we look at how Western media covers Africa, where we go through all the prejudice, racism, misinformation, and in today we will cover the KFC Potato Gate saga in Kenya and show you how Western media has been manufacturing Africa's food crisis on purpose. Uh, before we start, please uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share these videos with friends and family. Uh, please make sure to especially like this video. It shows YouTube uh, that this video is interesting and it will share it to people who are like-minded. What's happening? What is Potato Gate? Uh, Kenyans are calling for boycott of the fast food giant KFC in Kenya after a crazy announcement that they ran out of potatoes in the country where potatoes are Kenya's second most uh, produced cash crop. Uh, so uh, this is the crux of the issue. Uh, KFC is saying that of potatoes because they usually get their potatoes from uh, the U uh, United States suppliers or European suppliers, meaning that these potatoes, these beautiful African potatoes, these beautiful Kenyan potatoes are not considered as potatoes to KFC. Uh, this uh, is not a matter of uh, them not wanting our potatoes, but it's such a deeper issue that we will talk through and why a, a European or uh, an American company would rather import raw materials and support their own industries than supporting local farmers and local producers. This is by design. It's not a mistake. It's how the system is built to further uh, put Africa down, to further enable them to control Africa, to further enable them to exploit Africa. So what's the issue exactly? So this KFC Potato Gate saga has opened the eyes of Kenyans to show them how these international uh, multi multinational firms treat Kenyans. So uh, uh, as a retort, this is what uh, uh, Kenyans uh, in authority had to say. So, Washira Kaugongo, CEO of the National Potato Council in Kenya, which works with local farmers, stated it was not sustainable for KFC to continue sourcing its potatoes from abroad. He stated that Kenyans are offering a market for their food and expect that they should also offer a market for Kenyan farmers. However, the KFC East Africa boss told local media that the approval procedure could not be set stepped to bring local farmers on global quality standards. So uh, what this guy is saying is that um, they've got super standards that Kenyan farmers cannot achieve, uh, basically is that. But the issue is not about them uh, not being able to source potatoes locally. The issue is about the system that they've created. So Kenya produces approximately 2 million tons of potatoes annually and engages approximately 3 million Kenyans across the value chain. So what, what does this tell you? Like you see these potatoes, right? The system, right? When I mean the system, it's all this world trade organization, all these free trade deals, all this agoa. The system is made that Africans, African farmers, African producers are not being treated fairly when it comes to trading with these uh, international companies, trading with these European or uh, like uh, uh, Western countries, right? So here is a clip uh, we did uh, of a documentary about how these Western African countries have been manufacturing Africa's food crisis since colonialism. Africa is able to produce so much food. Africa is technically able to feed its population without needing foreign aid, without needing donations, right? But they have made Africa not be able to do this so that they could use aid to control Africa, so that they could use aid to steal from Africa. So we did this documentary. I will just uh, share a snippet of it here. Another relic from the colonial era to suppress local food production continues today through structural adjustment programs imposed on African countries by the IMF and World Bank. The offer from the financial institutions was simple. We'll pay off your debt inherited from the colonial period if you make certain adjustments to your economy. The adjustments were classically neoliberal, as well as opening up access to African markets for American and European food producers. They forced African governments to eliminate subsidies for their own farmers. Many farmers have gone out of business as a result of these policies after imports became cheaper than the food they produce. Important. We recommend you watch the whole 
15 minute documentary it will change your mind of how food is sourced and produced in Africa you'd think uh, Africa is a fertile place a farmer will just go out plant the food that's enough no 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 they make it almost impossible for farmers to create their own industry right because you cannot compete with people who keep pushing unfair rules and fair uh, systems on you right so conclusion um what is happening this kfc potato gate saga is by design in the international system is designed to put african farmers african producers Afri african manufacturers down to put them at a disadvantage when competing with their like uh, with their international peers and uh, what can we do um so my best way of uh, fighting this big corporation is boycott right you can protest you can go on twitter you can complain but the best way is hey just stop going to kfc if you're in kenya stop going to kfc simple as that it will hurt them where it matters right being angry being uh, going to twitter making memes it's cute it's fun but if you really want them to hurt hurt completely so that they change their behaviors uh you boycott them and this seems to have worked because uh we just got word that uh, uh after a lot of public pressures kenyans especially on twitter and uh, countrywide who said they will boycott kfc uh made kfc to agree to purchase potatoes from local kenyan farmers but with a big big caveat so uh we will follow this story to uh, let you know uh, what happens right uh, the big big caveat is that uh, they'll put so many restrictions on these kenyan farmers it will not even be worth their like worth their while uh the west has a lot of food waste problems because of these uh standards that don't make any sense food is food as long as it's healthy it does not have pests uh, and it tastes good natural right no uh, no this gmos artificial food that looks perfect like it's been modeled or, or that's not the african way uh, we try to do things the natural way uh, we grow our food from the ground we 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 keep with mother nature we try to use as little pesticides or if we use pesticides or fertilizers we try to use natural options first before we go to the chemical uh, disastrous ones uh, like uh, they did uh, they usually do in the west so this is the potatoes of the matter this is the crux of the matter uh, africa needs to get out of this food crisis that has been manufactured uh, manufactured for it africa needs to start producing its own food uh, make sure to watch the documentary uh, that uh, we've linked below it's uh, really important how the west has manufactured africa's food crisis okay so with that said uh, thank you for watching we really appreciate you guys thank you to all our channel members thank you to all our patreons thank you to all our donors thank you to people who view our videos thank you to all africans who support us uh, big shout out to ethiopia big announcement on that uh, coming soon the great homecoming uh, we'll uh, keep you updated on something big we've been cooking um, on this event on uh, the ethiopian uh, christmas that's uh, uh, going to happen on 7th big news on that uh, and uh, without said uh, we'll check you out in the next one and always remember africa is watching